Boop. Didn't mean to scare you there. These games are so scary that they have been reported to make kids pee their pants. Make sure you stay till the end of the video to see the number one scary game. It's very spooky. Welcome back guys, this is JT coming at you with another video. Make sure before the video loads up to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. When you do these three things, you will be entered to receive a monthly shout out. So good luck. But getting into the video, these games are not meant for the fate of heart. So, if you get scared easily, make sure to stay away from these games, but if you're like me and are always up for a challenge, go ahead and play these. Now, let's get into the countdown. First up on our list, we have Halloween Town. Have you guys ever seen that Disney movie, Halloween Town? Well, it's kind of similar, but it's pretty much a game within the game, if that makes sense. You can log into Roblox, you go into Halloween Town, and it's pretty much a full town dressed head to toe of Halloween people, people trying to scare you, that kind of thing. I think it's very interesting and very useful, honestly. And I think stuff like this in the game is good, ultimately. I think, you know, you need your type of scary videos, that kind of stuff, and, you know, scary games to keep you entertained. Nonetheless, I really enjoy this type of stuff, and I think it's a very good way to spend your time. Nonetheless, though, like I keep saying, nonetheless, 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 this game will leave you scared crapless. You are literally going to be running to your mommy after you play it, because there is a haunted maze within this game that ultimately, if this was a real game in reality, this would lead one to wonder. Who is the creator of this game, and are they on the bridge of insanity? I mean, whoever made this game is just a very demented person, very messed up in the head, and I honestly don't know why or what they were thinking when they made this game. You literally enter the maze, and then there's a bunch of curl dolls. Now these dolls look menacingly, they look scary, but they don't really jump out at you until you're about to leave the room. They literally jump right in the computer screen, TV screen, whatever you're playing Roblox on, and it scares the living piss out of you. Next, you get into the Scarecrow Island. This is a remote island. You literally walk into a room, sand everywhere, and there's a single scarecrow under a palm tree, and it starts laughing at you. Its eyes grow and get meaninglessly red, and they start beaming their red little beamy eyes right at you, and they just just, I don't know how to explain it, man. This thing definitely traumatized me. And lastly, you get into the witch's lair. This is a scientist lab with witches operating on a half-dead mummy. And I don't understand that. A mummy should already be dead, but the mummy's still kind of moving around. And the witches ultimately scare you. They pop out at you from different angles. And that's the game right there. Yeah, so guys, if you're trying or planning on trying Halloween Town, definitely reconsider it. It's still a fun, entertaining game though. Next, we have Friday the 13th Murder. This is based off, again, another scary show with Jason, you know, that kind of guy. And it's Friday the 13th. So you have Freddy vs. Jason, or you just have Jason in reality and Jason is in the game. You're pretty much walking through a cornfield out in an open remote barn area, and you're trying to keep your calm. You're trying not to get scared. It's very terrifying, and honestly, for me, I don't like this type of stuff, but Jason will pop out at you at random times. That's why this game is so dangerous and scary. He can literally pop out at you at the beginning, the middle, the end, towards the middle, towards the end, doesn't matter. The game changes it up every time, so you're always going to be left off guard. And he can either pop out at you once a game, or as many times up to 10. It's going to get scary, and you guys are definitely going to want to have someone buy you when playing this game. This Friday the 13th murder also is based on a true story, where someone actually in Roblox ended up getting off on Halloween night, going trick-or-treating with his friends, and he ended up venturing off from them into a spooky cornfield, and three days later, police found his body eaten up by rats, and there was a note saying, don't let this ever happen again. So they never found the killer, but they had enough time to make a game out of it. I don't understand that concept, but I'm not gonna question it. I think this is very scary, and this stuff is definitely real. If you play around with the wrong people, will definitely get involved in the wrong trouble, and you don't want that ever to happen. Lastly, we have Peekaboo. This is just a game where you go into an operating room and you have lights flashed at you. 
Now the lights will either appear with nobody in them or they'll have a clown's face and you have to play along with it. If you mimic the right patterns, you're free to go to the next room. But if you don't, your character ends up getting killed by the clowns and you can't play the game until you hit a certain level. I think it's still very, very interesting. These type of games are allowed on Roblox. I mean, I thought this was a PG friendly game, but there are still ways around this. And the graphics in this game are actually very scary. And it leads me to wonder, there's no way a kid ever, you know, made this game. There's no way a kid with that amount of intelligence could ever make a game like that. I mean, that kid would have to be like literally Albert Einstein in the flesh. I mean, that game was perfectly made. Nonetheless, Peekaboo is probably the second scariest game on this list. I'd say Friday the 13th is the first, and then Halloween Town is the last scariest. But all three of these games share one thing in common. They are coming for you. So if you ever play these games, if you ever want to give them a try, just be very aware that these games will definitely, definitely scare you poopless, and they'll definitely make you pee your pants. Always make sure to have a friend around you when playing this game, or at least be on the mic or in a party, a Discord, a phone call, whatever the case may be. So we've gone over the list of scary games, and I want to ask you guys this, because it's the end of the video. Well, have you ever played any of these games? And if so, have you played them by yourself or with a friend? Usually whenever I'm playing a scary game, I like to be in a Discord call with a bunch of my closest friends because I just get startled pretty easily. Still, I don't know if you're like me, but I thought I'd throw that out there. These games are the cream of the crop of scariness, and even though Halloween has just passed us, there's still more room for spooky season. It's awesome, and it's fun to watch as well. And with these scary games, you can also share them with your friends. So if you find one that's extra spooky, or one that gives you the creeps just as much as the other, go ahead and share it, and try these games out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Really means a lot for you guys checking out today's channel, so thank you so much. Make sure to leave a like before you leave and subscribe. Guys, I'm signing off, and as always, see y'all later.